Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 28 July 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter writes that Cape Town is set to roll out a number of technologies to combat crime. The city of Cape Town will this year introduce a number of new technologies to combat crime. Some of these technologies may be familiar, such as drones and body cameras, with others perhaps less well known, such as automated number plate recognition. The engineering news features focus on the automotive industry, where a tyre manufacturer aims to boost local production through investment. Locomotives, railway trucks and wagons, where in-cab signalling is needed in Africa. And project management, where project managers must consider ESG factors to ensure success. The Mining Weekly features focus on Central and East African mining and industry, where a magnet metals miner is thankful for ongoing support. And Iron Ore, where local challenges hinder greener steel making. This week's business leader is Magautam Palele, Executive Director of the South African Credit and Risk Reporting Association. And as this week's cartoon shows, the torching of more than 20 tracks in KwaZulu-Natal, Limpopo and Mpumalanga brought back nasty memories of the July 2021 riots. The motives are not immediately clear, but it is further undermining investor confidence. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.